Hi friends, Carla here. If you're thinking about teaching English in South Korea, but don't know what kind of school is right for you, keep watching to learn more. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more content about living in South Korea, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's get into the video. In South Korea, there are two main types of schools where native English speakers can teach. They are a hagwon or a public school. While both of these institutions have similar hiring requirements, work life can differ greatly between the two. A hagwon is an after-school program where students can learn English. At a hagwon, parents pay quite a bit of money to enroll their kids. This means that expectations are set very high for teachers, and your employment may be contingent upon the number of students taking classes per semester. If you want complete job security, it is best to choose your hagwon based on a personal reference or in-depth research. Since hagwons rely on enrollments to make money, they have to run all year long. Even when the students are on winter or summer break, as a result, vacation time for teachers is limited. Most hagwons offer just 10 days of vacation. These days are also divided and chosen by the hagwon. Something that's unique about hagwons is the schedule. Since the students take classes after their normal school day, teachers don't start work until 2 p.m. or later. Depending on how many classes there are, a typical workday could end anywhere from 7 to 10 p.m. If you're not sure what age level of students you want to teach, starting at a hagwon might be a good way to find out. Hagwons usually accept students of varying ages and English levels. This also makes each class exciting. Public schools are institutions run by the government. Students take regular classes in Korean and also have English class with a native speaker. English teachers at public schools often find that they are the only foreigner at their school. This depends on the school's budget and size. Being the only foreigner or native English speaker makes it more difficult to make friends at work, though it's not impossible to make friends outside of work through Facebook or meetup groups. Many English teachers at public schools don't get their own rooms, so they have to travel to each homeroom class to teach each lesson. Teachers must plan games or activities that are quick and easy to set up at the beginning of class and take down at the end of class. Since public schools are run by the government, they are required to give English teachers basic benefits and follow labor laws in Korea. Hagwons should also follow these laws, but often don't since they are not in the limelight. Another perk of teaching at public school is the great vacation time. Public school English teachers can expect to have at least four weeks of paid vacation, plus red days or national holidays. Choosing to work at a public school may be best if traveling around Asia is something you want to do. Have you decided which type of Korean school is right for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content about life in Korea, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!